What's going on, the Cobber fam? I'm here in Madrid, the Real Madrid training ground, and I'm here to speak to Gareth Bale, courtesy of BT Sport. We're going to be asking him his top five moments, and then after that, two, two Cobber fam questions. You don't know, just no. Can't kill this bond. Don't know what she feel is strong, and I know it sounds like the same old song. All right, guys. So tell us about your best Champions League moments. Let's start off with the first one. Um. My top moment, obviously, is lifting the trophy. I don't think you can you can beat that. I think uh, it's every every kid's dream to to play in the Champions League and to win it. And uh, yeah, to actually have achieved that was um, yeah an amazing feeling and one you'll always remember. But you've walked out onto the pitch, Madrid derby, Champions League final. What's your first thoughts? Yeah, no, it was it was it was a, it was different to an, a normal game. Normal games, you go out, you don't feel nervous at all, really. But this was obviously a special occasion, a, a massive game. You know, the world's watching and. That trophy is just right in front of you, and you know <laughs> you want to win it. And it's uh, yeah, you can feel the pressure, but uh, as soon as the whistle goes, you're just focused on the game. And uh, yeah, thankfully we won it in the end. All right, please give us your second Champions League moment, which I kind of think I know what it is. To be fair, um, probably the hat trick at the the San Siro. It gave me that belief to really push on and, and kick on and get better. And uh, obviously, I've got the Champions League ball as well, still, which is which is very nice. Sick. What did Mykon say to you after the game? Because Mykon at the time was a very respected right back, especially <laughs> by me. And I used to play right back. After that, mate, I started to look at other people like Kyle Walker because I thought, how can I respect this man? Gareth Bale's left him in the cleaners. After you did it the first time, do you feel like you're right mentally? You've got the edge over Mykon. You can do it again. Um, I never really thought like that, to be honest. Um, it was just whoever I was playing against, I wanted to get the better of on the day. So uh, that was always the case with me. And yeah, whatever game I go and play, I, I try and give my opponent a, a hard time. All right, give us your third big moment in the Champions League. Um, my third moment was probably against Inter Milan, but the home game. I think uh, beating the the well the European champions at the time, which was Inter Milan, was um, was an amazing moment. I think we went three one on the night, and uh, yeah, the atmosphere in, in White Hart Lane was just incredible, and uh, yeah, a, a night of history to, as I said, be the reigning champions. Pretty, pretty big moments to be fair. Give us your fourth. My fourth moment, probably the semi-final win against um, Bayern Munich. I think when we went to to, oh to Munich Lord. and probably played our best game. I've been here like as a team. We we set up in a way where we literally just nullified all their attacking threats and then just smashed them on the counter attack and, and we were able to get four goals. And uh, in the semi-final to win four nil and five nil in aggregate against such a great team was. Uh, was a great moment. Well, give us your fifth and final biggest Champions League moment. The final probably against Man City, the home game. I think uh, to get through to the final is um, obviously through to another final is a great achievement, but obviously still a lot of hard work to go. But yeah, the feeling of, as I say, getting to the final, it's all that hard work you put through uh, in through the year. And uh, yeah, to, to get there now, it's uh, it was an amazing feeling on the night to, to celebrate it with the fans. And um, hopefully now we can finish it off again. What do you? What are your thoughts going on to, to the final? Is it because it's almost like you're playing it again? It's almost like a second leg, but just a couple of years later. Um, have you still got that same feeling in your stomach the first final, or are you a little bit more mentally prepared for this one? Um, yeah, I think more prepared this time. Obviously, now I know what to expect. Is where my first experience in a final is completely new. So mm. um, yeah, I'm a bit more relaxed and laid back about it now. But we know it's going to be a very difficult game. They've uh, Atletico Madrid have been very good this year, very resilient, and. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go there and, and try and do our best to, to bring the trophy home. Okay, we've got a couple of questions here. The first one is uh, quite funny. Would there be anything better than knocking England out of the Euros? <laughs> not much. And celebrating in front of the fans? <laughs> it wouldn't be much better, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it, it'd be up there with the Champions League final victory. <laughs> How far do you think Wales will get in the Euros? That's from Tom. Um, the good thing with us, we have no expectation. So mm -hmm. um, we'd love to win it, of course. But uh, we're just going to go in give 100%, take each game by game, and uh, if that happens to take us as far as we can, then, then we'll be happy. But um, we know what we're capable of inside, and uh, as I said, we'll, we'll, as long as we give 100% as a team, then we can't really ask any more. I believe that's all the time we have. Thank you so much okay. for your time, Gareth. No problem. Wonderful. You're welcome. So, Copper fan, that was myself, Poet. Unfortunately, without the wonderful Vuge, talking to Gareth Bell in Madrid. Remember, Copper fan, like, share, subscribe, and leave comments about absolutely anything you see. Hashtag separate. What? Man, I play Tetris.